Today I'll be doing an energy reading for the month of February 2023. I'm going to start with some tarot cards, then some oracle, um, just to have a look at what the energies are around you. If you enjoy the reading, please subscribe and help me to, to grow the channel. Okay, let's go. Four of Wands. Four of Swords. Nine of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups, King of Cups, and on the bottom, the Ace of Cups. You know, Cancerians, the first thing that um, comes through for me here is that for a lot of you watching and it is a general reading so it won't uh, resonate with everyone but take what does and leave the rest but for a lot of you who are watching i feel that the month of february and it may have already begun because i'm reading in that last week of january you may be worrying that there's some distance between you and your partner for those of you who have a partner and it does look like um, the majority of people that seems to be the theme that's coming through here if you're somebody who um, is single then this looks like it's about the uh, family so it could be to do with connections to uh, people who you consider family whatever that means to you so it's about uh, to me the feeling of maybe the feeling distant with people and worrying about how those relationships are going so it does seem like there may be some um, sword energy going on for you sort of being in the head is worrying about is somebody um, not upset with you it could be that for some but I'm feeling more an energy of worrying about if your relationship is still as strong with someone as it once was and you know with this ace of cups on the bottom of the deck I have to say that it does look like the love is still there and that this is a temporary um, phase and uh, as as we know relationships they ebb and flow and we have times when life can get in the way and I feel that for a lot of you Cancerians this is what's happening that there's been a lot going on um, in the with the people who are in the relationship so I'm I don't necessarily mean you know with them as a couple I mean the people are, as individuals have had a lot of stuff going on and on their mind and the other person in particular may have been uh, appear distracted and like a lot is uh, keeping them distant to you keeping their mind occupied and this is creating some ungrounded fears I, I feel for a lot of people now you know with this queen of pentacles and there's no gender here because tarot is not gendered so we've got the the queen of pentacles and the king of cups here so it would appear to me that one person maybe feels the other isn't as expressive as they once were and would like um it, but the other person feels the emotion so i feel like th this um queen of cups here and that whether you're male or female is irrelevant this queen of cups energy to me feels like a very uh, practical and stable and somebody who um, is likes a relationship to maintain how it was or, or is worried that the relationship is not I should say is is a bit concerned that the relationship is seems like it's changed a little bit but on the other side it looks to me like the partner still has the same feelings but they're looking in the other direction so they're distracted they have other things going on but they still have the cups here so there's still the emotion and I see the ace of cups here so um, to me that is about the love still being there and for a lot of you there will also be children so this will be a family that involves children so it does seem like there's a, a nice um, bond but maybe just some uh, busyness and distance that's come about and I feel like your guides are saying not to let yourself get too caught up or worried about things because um, there is that <clears throat> ebb and flow that happens and I'm just going to pull another card on Actually, I think I'll ask about this Four of Swords. Spirits and Guides, can you tell us more about what this period of rest? Can you just give us another card as to what that meaning is for that one? Okay. Yes, okay. So somebody may be um, 
it may be busy, occupied with work, with a lot of uh, documents or learning something. But I also feel that for some of you, you're reading about relationships and reading about, um, what is that? Re reading into how to, why this might be happening or is this normal for some people? But I feel like it is because we got that Ace of Cups in the bottom and it, you know, if you're feeling a lack of communication, we've got that page of swords. If you're feeling a lack of communication, I feel like it's important that uh, you recognize that that's just distraction that seems to be going on and that a lot of it can be, um, sometimes we can let our minds get a bit uh, carried away with worrying about, worrying about um, what someone else is thinking and they may not be thinking something that is negative at all they may be they may be just simply have their mind on other things so take that if it resonates with you obviously like i said it, you'll know if it if it hits you know the heart space you'll know if that message is meant for you and connects with you adventure yeah so maybe you feel like there's some adventure and some um spontaneity and some spark missing from the relationship and that it's become very you know uh we do the same things and you know you're wanting that spark back and that excitement back so it could be it could be about planning some things too to to bring that in just that sort of playful energy into the relationship and i know the children down there and i will and rebirth okay yeah so to bring that energy back in um you know if, if you don't want to sort of wait or this ebbs and flows and to help this to sort of come along, um, some playful, adventurous stuff. And, you know, if I feel like even if your partner, if this is speaking to you, then if your partner is too busy or they're not interested, even just doing that for yourself could be a good thing or with the other members of the family could be a really good thing for you because it will help um, get you through any times when your partner's really busy and distracted. A dawn. Okay. Yeah, so... This can be about, um, to me, a, a dawn is a, about celebrating yourself and um, making sure that you're doing all the self-care stuff, you know, and looking after yourself and finding that own, your own spark within yourself, okay? So, it, you know what I was feeling straight away when I saw those flowers is that feeling of, you know, in that beginning initial stage where the flowers might come into a relationship and you know like I said it's not a gendered thing but often we associate flowers with that initial spark and that stage of um, excitement so you know it's about bringing back that feeling for you um, because you can't uh, be too worried about what's going on with this other person I feel because I, I don't feel that it's anything for 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 the people that this reading is speaking to and about, I do not, um, and you'll know, like I said, if it's you, I do not feel that it's a negative thing. I feel that this person here still has that love and those feelings. We had the Ace of Cups, we've got the King of Cups. I just feel they're very uh, caught up in other things at the moment. Okay. And health, yeah. So Adorn. So um, health, uh, the Adorn can be about the outward uh, way that you're presenting yourself. And it's not just about presenting yourself to other people it's about how you're presenting yourself to yourself you know how do you feel about yourself but also looking after yourself so self-care might be a thing that's been a little bit on the back burner for you and you might have been putting a lot of energy into everybody else and I feel that your guides are asking you to um, refocus a little bit on the self and to put some fun and spark back in with who will join in hopefully your partner but if they're busy then um you know friends or other family members or even yourself you know and then um really that self-care aspect here and that's what will bring about the change and the switch from the looks of it so all right just wanted to pull a few of these cards And then I'll, I just find to, okay, forward, yeah, keep going forward. Look, relationships change and they move forward. And I feel like um, this is, even though you might feel like it's a step backwards with 
you know, you might feel that communicate. I feel like communication is a big thing that a lot of you are feeling is um, lacking, but you're actually um, always moving forward. You're not moving backwards. The relationship is not going backwards. It's just on a little bit of a, you know, like this, um, you know, like a, a standstill for a moment while that person sort of gathers their, their energy together. That's what I'm feeling receptivity yes so the receptivity seems to be the big thing doesn't it like that's that's what's come through the you're feeling that the receptivity isn't there and i feel that the receptivity will come back so do you see these uh three they, they look like gems to me and these look like moons but these three symbols are just exactly the same places as shape or positions i should say as the three up here and to me she's moving forward and then through her moving forward in her own footsteps taking on um, this advice of your guides to for the self-care and looking after that spark for yourself um, through that you find that the receptivity it rebalances so everything and i love these two uh, roses in the center here so about a rebalance comes through and you realize that there's all these beautiful pearls and that could be representing all the time that you've had together, the memories, all the, the beautiful things about the relationship that you may not be feeling are um, jumping out at you at the moment, but um, they're there, they're there, they're still happening and um, under the surface. So I feel that receptivity, it resets and, um, did we get re a rebirth? That's what we got. Um, but the rebirth I felt was about, you, you can bring about shifts in this, by bringing about shifts in your consciousness and just how you're perceiving it okay so i hope that helped um cancer and if it did uh hopefully i'll see you next time and thanks for listening bye